Oops. Well, I had decided much earlier, even within the first hour of entrapment, that I would have to cut my arm off, except I couldn't figure out how to do it. Uh, by the final night that I was there, I was pretty sure that I was going to, I was going to die. The, it, bef I was certain of that by the first, the first time I even turned the camera on, 24 hours into it, I was going to die. I couldn't cut my arm off. I would either bleed to death before I could get to medical help, and then I realized the knife isn't sharp enough to get through the skin, or, and then it isn't sharp enough to get through the bone. There's the, the vision as I had of the little boy who comes running over to me as I, wa I, I saw this uh, kind of in a dreamlike moment of the sixth day, the fifth night that I was there. That it, was, um, it was dark in the canyon, but I saw myself leave and go into a living room, and here I scoop up this little blonde-haired boy, and, and as a, I know that this is my future son. Here he is, and I'm looking him straight in the eyes, and then it was the epiphany of realizing that I could break the bones in my arm. I didn't have to cut through them with the knife. I could break them. And from that point, it was just this smile. Still today, I look at it and I wouldn't change anything. That wouldn't take a sharper knife, wouldn't have a jacket, wouldn't take more water. Like I just, it had to happen the way that it happened. To me, it's, it's all been a blessing. What the gift of it is is that it, it it draws me out of my my daily experience into a place of appreciation and gratitude.